of Jesus. Today we have a very special worship service for you, and we want to say, first of all, a special word of welcome to all of our musicians, all of our singers, um, who will be sharing their gifts and their ministry with us this morning. I hope that you will delight. It has been so much fun the past couple of days listening to, um, to rehearse them and being able to have the chance to sing with them as well. So we are thankful to you, all of you for uh, sharing in our worship experience this morning. A little later, on, we will be celebrating Holy Communion. You are welcome to come to the Lord's table. Communion will be continuous. Um, and regardless of your denominational background, you are welcome to come to the table as we celebrate the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, as he feeds us and invites us to commune and to share in that Holy Supper. Following our worship service today, we invite you downstairs for co coffee and rolls. It'll be an opportunity to mingle and visit with our musicians. It will also be a time, if you did not get a chance yesterday to check out our Christmas Bazaar, um, you will have a chance um, yet today. They had a wonderful turnout yesterday. And we are so thankful um, for all who took time out of their day to stop by. Um, had a lot of good times to visit yesterday, and we'll have another um, chance to do so following our worship service today. And one final announcement, and that is we continue our midweek Advent worship services. It is Hold an Evening Prayer at 7 p.m. on Wednesday evening here in our sanctuary. The rest of the announcements I trust for you to read. And at this time, we will begin our service with the lighting of the Advent wreath, and I direct your attention to that section in your worship bulletin. Advent is a time to watch. We, we wait watch and hope, hope for, for the Lord. Lord. We'll come and well. During Advent, we watch for hope in the midst of despair. We, we watch, watch and hope, hope for the Lord. Lord. We'll come, Emmanuel. During Advent, we watch for forgiveness in the midst of rebellion. We, we watch and hope for the Lord. We'll come, Emmanuel. During Advent, we watch for peace in the midst of conflict. We watch and hope for the Lord. O come, Emmanuel. During Advent, we watch for the presence of God in the midst of a fallen world. We watch and hope for the Lord. O come, Emmanuel. This morning, we light two candles. The first candle reminds us that Advent is a time of waiting. We wait in anticipation for God to fulfill every promise set forth in the Bible. The second candle reminds us that Advent is also a time of watching. We watch with expectant eyes, trusting that God is active, present, and constantly at work, leading all of creation toward the plan of redemption. As we light the second candle, we ask for faith to watch for God's presence and open eyes to see all that God is doing.
Let us pray. God in heaven, as we learn to wait in faith, help us now to watch in expectation. Open our eyes that we might see the ways you are at work around us, within us, and through us. Amen. While the choir members are coming to their places, I thought maybe you could look in your bulletins and we would acknowledge our instrumentalists over here, some of which have been here several years for us and have shared the Messiah songs several times. And we're so happy that they could come again. Maybe they would just wave their hands. We have Ann Judish on the first violin, Joan Elkins on the second violin, John Vettel on the viola, and he has an amazing new way of turning the pages. He just taps his foot and the pages automatically turn. I just don't understand it. And then we have Amy Adamson on the cello and um, Judy Falmouth on the piano. She's playing piano this time instead of the harpsichord. And so we're very thankful to have them. Let's give them a hand before we even begin.
also, Mr. Handel wrote all of these um, notes that we're going to sing and play today in 1741, I think, and it didn't take him very long to write music for orchestra and choir that um, lasts three hours if you were to perform like the whole thing. Um, and so it's an amazing work that he had um, help from God, I'm sure. All of the words from the Messiah are from the Bible, probably I think the King James Version, and the things, everything we're singing today is inside your red um, folder right here. So I think if there are any people that are here that have sung this with us before or simply want to follow along, we have several, many more books in the front row. If you want to come down to one of the first two rows, come on ahead. We'd love to have you. You don't have to stand up and sing, but you can sing along if you'd like to. We'd, we'd love it. Okay, here we go. Come for thee, my people. Come for thee. Come for thee. Saith your God, saith your God, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare her warfare is accomplished 
that her inequity is pardoned, that her inequity is pardoned. <laughs> the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. The Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even a messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? Who shall stand when he appeareth? 
appeareth. But who may abide, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? And who shall stand when he appeareth, when he appeareth, when he appeareth. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. God with us.
child is born. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. <clears throat> and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the Suddenly, there was with the angel a mom. 
Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart and the tongue of the dumb shall sing.
gently lead those that are with young and gently lead those and gently lead those
I would just like to say, let's give a huge round of applause for our leader, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. We continue with our offering, and as always during our COVID restrictions, we have offering plates in the back. Again, we want to thank you for giving back to God the first fruits of what God has given for us. And now I invite you to please stand in preparation for the service of Holy Communion. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. 
shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come, the table is ready, and all are welcome. Communion today is continuous. Please take a cup. You will be handed the bread. There is also gluten-free wafers. Just please make your wishes known. There is also grape juice for those who choose not to partake of the wine. You may be seated, and the ushers will direct you forward. given for you the body of Christ 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 given for you and the body of Christ given for you amen body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ is shed 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 for you. blood of Christ shed for you. That's okay, I'll have it after. I don't have a cup, so I'll do it later. Yep. Who else is going to serve wine? take. I'll do the bread. body of Christ given for you the body of Christ given for you this is the blood of Christ shed for you the body of Christ given for you the blood of Christ, the body of Christ given for you given for you. This is the, blood the body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ shed, the 
body of Christ given for you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. The body of Christ given for 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 you. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. The body of Christ given for you. Guys. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you, Holy Spirit. The body of Christ given for you. Okay. Hold that thought. <laughs> Body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. Body of Christ given for you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. Oh, he is, sorry. The body of Christ given for you. Sorry about that. The body of Christ given for you. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. And the blood of Christ shed for you, soul. The body of Christ given for you. 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 of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. of Christ given for you.
body of Christ given for you. The 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 body of Christ given for you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. The body of Christ given for you. For refill, aren't we? The body of Christ given for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you, Lord. And the blood of Christ shed for you, Lord. And I don't know if you have anybody in the audience. No, she said everybody was up, so. I invite you to please stand. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. His peace be with you all. Amen. You know, as we had the resounding chorus of the Alleluia chorus at the end, and we got up to do Holy Communion, it reminded me that as Christians, we believe the service of Holy Communion is just a small foretaste of that great heavenly feast that is soon to come. And that music surely brought us to that place. And it's amazing, and we're so thankful that we are able to share, not only in such inspiring, awesome, heavenly music, but also here at the table as our Lord has fed us. And so now let us look forward to a new week as we continue on this Advent journey of hope and expectation as we receive the blessings of Almighty God. May the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.